So yesterday we have solved this problem with node analysis and uh, only the simulation part was left. So we have calculated analytically the voltage V1 node voltage as uh, uh, 1.33 and uh, node voltage 2 as 5.667. So these two voltages we have calculated and uh, the uh, in the problem it was asked to find current through 3 ohm resistance and that we have calculated it as 0.44 ampere and uh, here is the simulation which I have simulated in falstad.com circuits and uh, this short URL I have given it to for you so that you can put this in your browser window and you will get the same circuit which I already implemented in uh, that simulation software. So from this you can observe that on this voltmeter V1 which I have connected it at this node voltage V1 point and with respect to the V0. So V1 voltage with respect to V0, it is coming out as 1.33 volt and V2, this node second, from this node second to this reference node, I have connected another voltmeter and it is reading, giving me reading as 5.667 volt. So V2 junction voltage is 5.667 volt and V1 voltage is 1.33 and from these voltages I was interested to find current through this 3 ohm resistance and that you can calculate by V1 minus 0 divided by 3 that is 1.33 by 3 so that is equal to 0.44 ampere and uh, this ammeter I have connected in that so it is giving me reading as 444.44 milliampere. So that means it is nothing but 0.444 milli, uh, ampere. And that was the value which I have, uh, we have computed yesterday. Okay. So now let us see second numerical. So this is second numerical, again it is of type 1, using node analysis you have to calculate current through this 2 ohm resistance for this particular network. So again you find out here two nodes are there, one node and second node or junction. So two junctions are there, I will assume that the voltage at this junction 1 is V1 and for this junction 2 it is V2 and this is the reference node. So with this V1 and V2, we want to find now values of V1 and V2 and then we will calculate the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor. So let us begin it. So I will stop sharing this. I will share the second screen. So is this screen visible to you? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. So now let us tackle second problem of uh, node analysis. This is also type 1 problem in which we can see here there are two nodes 
This is first node. Let us say voltage is V1 and this is node 2. Voltage is V2 and for this voltage is V0 equal to 0 volt. So three junctions to V1 and V2 junction and third is the reference node or reference junction. We have assumed it. Now assume the direction of currents. All are outgoing. So from this, this is let us say I1. This is let us say I2 and this is let us say I3. So all currents in this first junction, this is junction 1. So from first junction, all the currents are flowing, uh, going away from it, I1, I2 and I3. For this second junction also, we are assuming that all the currents, they are moving away from this junction. So let us say I4, I5 and I6. Now apply KCL at junction 1. So you will sum I1, I2 and I3 equal to 0. So value of I1 you can compute from V1 minus 20 divided by 1. So we will we'll start solving the numerical. Apply KCL at junction 1. So after applying KCL at junction 1, we will get the equation as VA or V1. V1 we have assumed. So V1 minus 20 divided by 1 will be value of I1. Then for I2, it is V1 minus 0 upon 1 or V1 upon 1 and plus I3, value of I3 you can compute from V1 minus V2 divided by 0.5. So V1 minus V2 divided by 0.5 is equal to 0. So sum of I1 plus I2 plus I3 equal to 0. So this is KCL. Now simplify this equation. Again I will take LCM. So LCM 1 you can take. For this you can multiply it by 1. Multiply it by 1 and here you have to multiply it by 2. So at numerators will be you add all them. So it will be V1 minus 20 plus V1 plus twice V1 minus twice V2 divided by 1 equal to 0. Club all the terms of V1 together, V2 together and all constants on another side so that this will result 4 V1 minus 2 V2 is equal to 20. Let us say this is equation number 1. Now for getting second equation as there are two variables means two unknowns we should get two equations for getting second equation we will apply KCL at junction 2. So you apply KCL at this junction so it will be sum of I4 I5 and I6 equal to 0. Now how to calculate I4? V2 minus V1 by 0.5. So V2 minus V1 by 0.5 will be value of I4. For I5 it is V2 minus 0 upon 2. So it is V2 upon 2. And value of I6 you can calculate it from V2 minus 20 divided by 1. So V2 minus 20 divided by 1. Okay. And this is equal to 0. Again simplify it. So taking LCM, you can take LCM as 2. So here you have to multiply it by 4. Here you have to multiply it by 1. Here you have to multiply it by 2 for numerators. So it will be 4 V2 minus 4 V1 plus V2 plus twice V2 minus 40 
divide by 2 is equal to 0. Take 2 on that side, it will result to 0. Then club all the terms of V1 together, V2 together and constant on another side. So this will result minus 4 V1 as there is only one term of V1. V2 is plus 7 V2 equal to 40. So say this is equation number 2. Now two equations, two unknowns. Now I will directly solve it. You can solve it by any of the three methods which I have already told you. So we will solve it with calculator. I will press mode thrice. So I will result equation. I will press 2 so that the two equations whose coefficients I will enter first is 4 then second is minus 2 constant is 20 then for second equation minus 4 then 7 and 40 so this results first variable as 11 so that means v1 is 11 volts and v2 is I'll press it once so 12 volt so I got values of v1 and v2 now what is asked I have to find current through 2 ohm resistor. So this 2 ohm resistor current, it is nothing but I5 which is calculated by V2 minus 0 by 2. So current flowing through 2 ohm resistor, it is equal to I5 and it is equal to V2 divided by 2, V2 minus 0 by 2 and V2 I have calculated as 12 so 12 by 2 so 6 ampere is the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor now let us simulate it on the in the simulation app falstart.com and verify the result so I will switch over my screen Is this screen visible now? Yes, sir. So, simulation we are interested to see. Yes. So the values of voltages we have calculated as V or V1 is equal to 11 volt and V2 as 12 volt and the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistance we have calculated it as 6 ampere. So the same circuit I have implemented. This is the short link I have provided it for you. So you can uh, put this in your browser so that you will get the same simulated circuit which I have already implemented in that pulsestat.com. So this voltmeter V1, it is giving me the reading as 11 volt and V2 is giving me reading as 12 volt. So junction voltage V1 and V2 are 11 and 12 volt respectively. And uh, this current through this 2 ohm resistor, I have put here one ammeter and it is giving me reading as 6 ampere. So 6 ampere is the reading of current which is flowing through this 2 ohm resistance and it is the same 
which we have calculated okay now let us see type 2 problem in type 1 numericals there were only resistance and voltage sources were present now in type 2 along with voltage sources and resistances there may be current sources so if current sources are present in the network how to tackle them so let us say this is the uh, type of problem that is type 2 junction 1 and junction 2 these are the two junctions at junction 1 let us say it is voltage v1 this is the third reference node which is at zero potential and at junction g2 uh, the voltage is v2 now apply kcl at this junction so again first assume the currents at all the junctions junction 1 and 2 they are going outward direction so if you are assuming currents flowing at uh, junction 1 and all are outward direction so let us say this is small i1 this is small i2 this is small i3 and this is small i4 so four currents are flowing now value of i1 small i1 it is equal to now here current source is directly given to you so you need not have to compute current because we are in kcl we are writing sum of all the currents as zero so this first current i1 small i1 its value is already known to you that is equal to capital i1 so put it as it is capital i1 then for small i2 which is flowing through this r1 so for that you uh, you have to calculate it from v1 minus 0 divided by r1 so that will be current flowing through this resistance then current flowing through r2 that current will be v1 minus v2 divided by r2 will be the current flowing through this and the fourth current which you have to sum is small i4 and its value is directly given to you as capital i2 so directly substitute it as capital i2 so the net equation will become capital i1 plus capital i2 then uh, sorry uh, it will be uh, first capital i1 will be minus because the current which is which we have assumed all currents are moving away from the junction and here the current is entering in the junction so that capital i1 will be minus so minus capital i1 plus v1 minus 0 that is v1 by r1 v1 minus v2 by r2 and plus capital i2 so these are the currents at this junction j1 then for junction j2 what are the currents let us say it is i5 i6 and i7 so three currents are flowing both uh, all three are we have assumed it as they are flowing away from this junction so apply kcl at this junction j2 so what will be the resultant this current plus this current plus this current now this current i5 how to compute that v2 minus v1 upon r2 will be this current plus v2 minus 0 divided by r3 will be this current and this current value it is already known to you that is minus i2 that is minus capital i2 so that will be minus i2 equal to 0 so sum of all these currents equal to zero will be kcl at this particular junction okay even if you will assume the directions of current as entering in the junction or moving away from the junction it doesn't matter only thing the sign conventions you have to follow it correctly if current is entering in a junction you assume it as negative if current is leaving the junction you have to assume it as positive even exactly opposite you can assume it doesn't make any difference in the answer your answer will remain same but you have to keep your assumption constant throughout the numerical 
okay so this uh, i have calculated the values of current so nothing to do with this we'll straight away move to problem number 2.60 this is example number 2.60 from ravi singh's book and this is of type 2 problem yes so what you are supposed to find find the voltage at nodes 1 and 2 for the network shown in this figure so there are two nodes 1 and 2 these two nodes as i already told you the definition of node is wherever three branches meet three or more than three branches meet that is the junction or node that means current division has to take place so current division will take place only when there will be one branch through which current is flowing and there should be further two branches so that's why the junction will be of three branches so in all if there are three branches meeting at a point we are calling it as a junction or a node so in this circuit there are two nodes one and two we have assumed the voltages at junction 1 is v1 and voltage at junction 2 is v2 respectively and there is a third node or third junction which is of zero potential that is the reference node now let us assume the directions of currents all are outgoing for this junction 1 so all currents we have assumed it as they are going away from this junction they are i1 i2 and i3 so three currents now apply kcl at junction 1 so if you will apply kcl at junction 1 you have to sum this current i1 plus i2 plus i3 because all are going away from the junction so it is i1 plus i2 plus i3 equal to 0 i'll uh, mark my cursor is not looking properly yes now i can show the cursor so i1 plus i2 plus i3 equal to 0 is the kcl equation at junction 1 now i uh, my aim is to find values of i1 i2 and i3 and substitute it in the equation now for i1 there is no need to calculate the value of current i1 because there is a current source present in this branch so if current source is present in this branch directly the value of current is known to you so no 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 need to calculate this value of i1 i1 is directly equal to this current source and the direction of current source is exactly opposite to that of we have assumed so i1 and this one ampere they are exactly in opposite direction so this i1 value will be minus 1 so i will put here i1 as minus 1 for i2 it is v1 minus 0 upon 2 that is v1 upon 2 then for i3 it is v1 minus v2 upon 2 so v1 minus v2 upon 2 I will value of sub. Uh, I will substitute value of I three as this. Then this equal to zero is the equation of KCL. Now I will simplify this. I will take LCM as two. So two LCM. I have to multiply this factor numerator by two, this numerator by one, and this numerator by one. So this will be minus two plus V one plus V one minus V two. Divided by two equal to zero. Again, take two on that side. So this will be resulting as zero. So mine and then club all the terms of v one together, all the terms of v two together, and all the constant terms you have to take on another side. So this will result twice of v one minus v two equal to two. Let us say this is equation number one. So by applying KCL at junction one. we have got this first equation now again apply kcl at junction 2 which will give you another equation so for kcl at this junction we are assuming 
the direction of currents away uh, going away from the junction as i4 i5 and i6 so if you will apply kcl at junction 2 it will be sum of i4 i5 and i6 so sum of all these currents equal to 0 now my next next task is to find values of i4 i5 and i6 for i6 no need to find the value because i6 is directly given it as a current source and it is of 2 ampere and it is in opposite direction of this assumed current so i6 is equal to directly minus 2 so substitute value of i6 as minus 2 calculate value of i4 and i5 so i4 i can calculate it from v2 minus v1 upon 2 will be i4 so v2 minus v1 upon 2 will be i4 and for i5 it is v2 minus 0 upon 1 so that is v2 upon 1 so substitute the values of all the currents in this so this is the equation now take lcm for this multiply lcm is 2 i have multiplied this numerator by 1 this numerator by 2 and this numerator by 2 so i'll get v2 minus v1 plus twice of v2 minus 4 equal to 0 then take 2 on that side so it will result as 0 and this club all the terms of v2 together v1 together and constants on another side so it will be minus v1 plus 3 v2 equal to 4 let us say this is equation number 2 now i have got two equations 1 and 2 there are two unknowns v1 and v2 so directly i can calculate it on the calculator and i can find the values of v1 and v2 so solving equations 1 and 2 Values of V1 and V2 they are giving as V1 as 2 volt and V2 as 2 volt. In the equation, uh, in the question, it was asked to find the voltages at nodes 1 and 2. So only we were interested to calculate voltages V1 and V2, and that we have already calculated, right? So this V1 and V2 they are uh, calculated. now next is to simulate so after simulating you will get this as a result the same circuit i have simulated the values are same current sources and two voltmeters i have kept at junction v1 to v0 v1 to v0 i have connected one voltmeter and v2 to v0 i have connected another voltmeter and both are giving me results as readings as 2 volt each and the same values i have calculated v1 and v2 are 2 volts each so this is the and if you want to calculate current further to through this 2 ohm resistor i have connected here one ammeter and it is giving me result of 1 ampere but it is not asked in the Uh, problem so you can do this also okay so uh, i hope we have solved this numerical uh, i think we are uh, we have got time still one problem we can solve so we we'll solve one numerical Yes. So this numerical using node analysis, find the current through this resistor, hundred ohm resistor. I am unable to see this. so this is the example through uh, uh, circuit is given to you it is of type 2 because 
there are voltage source and current sources present in the circuit so as current source is there this is type 2 problem right voltage and resistances are there so again find out how many junctions are there two junctions assume the voltage is as v1 and v2 at these two junctions third junction voltage is 0 volt or v0 the same circuit i have redrawn here i have assumed the values of current at both the junctions they are going away from this junction as i1 i2 i3 and for this junction i4 i5 and i6 then apply kcl at junction 1 so if i like apply kcl at this junction 1 it will be i1 plus i2 plus i3 equal to 0 now my next next task is to find values of i1 i2 and i3 i1 you can calculate from v1 minus 60 divided by 20 so v1 minus 60 by 20 will be value of i1 value of i2 is straight away given to you and it is equal to minus 1 ampere so directly minus 1 you can write and for i3 it will be v1 minus v2 divided by 30 will be value of i3 after substituting this value you take lcm of this so 60 is the lcm for this i'll multiply it by 3 to this numerator multiply it by 60 to this numerator and multiply by 2 to this numerator and then the this will result me 3v1 minus 180 minus 60 plus 2v1 minus 2v2 equal to 0 take this 60 on that side so that Uh, and simplify that is club all the terms of v1 together all the terms of v2 together and constant on another side so this will result 5v1 minus 2v2 equal to 240 let us say this is equation number 1 then apply kcl at junction 2 that is i4 plus i5 plus i6 equal to 0 then next task will be find out values of i4 i5 and i6 so i4 you can find it by v2 minus v1 by 30 so v2 minus v1 by 30 i5 will be v2 minus 40 by 50 so v2 minus 40 by 50 and i3 will be uh, sorry i6 will be v2 minus 0 that is v2 divided by 100 equal to 0 then take lcm of this it is coming out as 1500 multiply this numerator by 50 this numerator by 30 this numerator by 15 and it will result 50v2 minus 50v1 plus 30v2 minus 1200 plus 15v2 equal to divided by 1500 equal to 0 take this 1500 on that side which will result 0 then club all the terms of v1 together v2 together and constants on another side it will lead to minus 50 v1 plus 95 v2 plus 1200 let us say this is equation 2 now equations 1 and 2 are with you with two variables v1 and v2 you can solve them on calculator with the procedure which i have already explained it to you it will result v1 as 67.2 volts and v2 as 48 volts now in the example it is asked to find current through 100 ohm resistor so this current we want to find and that is nothing but i6 and i6 we have calculated it as v2 divided by 100 or here also you can find it out as v2 minus 0 divided by 100 will be the current flowing through this 100 ohm resistor so v2 value is 48 so 48 minus 0 divided by 100 or 48 by 100 equal to 0.48 amperes will be the answer that is the current flowing through 100 ohm resistor 0.48 amperes the same circuit we have uh, simulated this is the simulation short simulation link i have provided to you you can put it in your browser window so that you will get the same circuit which i already implemented here is the v1 voltage voltmeter showing v1 voltage it is showing me as 67.2 and i have calculated as same 67.2 volt here v2 it is resulting as 48 volts 